Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for the Operator Spotlight um, Florida and Exodus Travel. Um, we'll just be waiting another minute for more people to join in as I see them coming, trickling in. Um, so just hold off a bit longer um, and then we're about to get set and started because I think Kent has quite the presentation prepared for us with a lot of information, um, useful for everyone attending today. So. Yeah, hold tight. Beautiful. So maybe just to give you a bit of rundown on how the whole um, webinar is going to run down. So just a quick intro at the beginning, but then um, I'll hand over to Kent to showcase everything about Exodus, and then we'll obviously have a bit of a Q&A session towards the end. And um, we also will be showing you how to actually find the Exodus adventures on the Torida platform, just so you know how you can actually go ahead and book and inquire about any trips that your customers might desire. Starting today. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe, maybe Kent, uh, while we're waiting in like another minute yeah. or so, you want to give us a bit of background about you, how long you've been with Exodus? Yeah. Yeah, so thanks everyone. Uh, my name is Kent Phillips. I'm the business development manager for Exodus Travels in North America. So I take care of a good chunk of the US and Canada. I am a Canadian. Um, I live in Alberta and Canada near the Rocky Mountains and have the pleasure of uh, getting to see a lot of uh, a lot of the world through, through this work. I've, I've worked in travel almost 25 years in different capacities. I came to Exodus about six and a half years ago, uh, was hired as the business development manager uh, to, uh, to increase knowledge and uh, expand on Exodus travels in this market. So very excited to, to be here and, and you know, to work with Tour Radar who are wonderful. Um, you know, we have a very good relationship with Tour Radar, so happy to be here. And right now I'm actually in San Francisco, so, so kind of all over the place. Travel, <laughs> Travel is back. <laughs> uh, we've, we've, been, we've been working together for like the past 10, 12 years, I believe, already. So mm -hmm. plenty of time to build good relationships. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I think, and I, I think, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, and, and hopefully you'll learn a little bit something about Exodus today and, and kind of what we're passionate about and what I'm passionate about uh, in seeing the world and how, how you can do it a little bit differently and, and share that uh, knowledge with your clients because it's a, it's a really wonderful way to travel and, and see the world. So um, you'll, learn, you'll learn a little bit more and, uh, and hopefully take that away with you today and be uh, inspired. Perfect. Um, well, I think we can get started. I think more people will be trickling in, but the webinar is going to be recorded anyway. Um, again, thanks for joining us today. Very excited. My name is Mark. I'm part of the partnerships team I'm based in Portugal. So again, on the other side of the big pond. Um, but yeah, I'll hand over to Kent. Um, but one important thing is um, we do have a nice $500 gift voucher for people that are attending and staying till the end. So stay until the end to find out if you actually want. So with this, I'll hand it over to Kent. Great. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Again, my name is Kent Phillips, uh, Business Development Manager for Exodus Travels in North America. So again, I'm going to move really quickly because there's lots to show you, lots of great images to get you inspired on what we do as a company. So as you'll see here, our exp expertise, your adventure. So we'll talk about local guides. We'll talk about our award-winning adventures, Nature First Tour Operator, our sustainability model, and how we support local communities. We're, we're actually a company that has been around um, almost 50 years, if you can believe it, one of the oldest tour operators in the world. And what you're going to see is under the profile, you know, who travels with Exodus? What, what sort of clients can I cater to? Well, you'll see here our core age range it kind of hovers in that 35 to 60, average age 54, predominantly working professionals and retirees are the bulk of our clientele. Lots of solo travelers, which is fantastic. 58% um, female to 42% male over 5,000 departures per year and a lot of repeat bookings. So a lot of people that go on a, uh, and clients that go on an excess trip, they will come back and book with you again and again, which we love. And uh, I've met some amazing uh, travelers on these trips that, uh, that know, know Exodus almost better than me. So it's, it's always great to, to hear their stories. I'm gonna start off with sustainability. It's very important. 
uh, we, we are seeing it firsthand. I mean, I, I mentioned to to uh, to our staff, you know, it's it heartbreaking to see what's going on in Turkey and Syria. And and within you know 24 hours, we were raising money to help out with uh, with earthquake relief there. But we do have an Exodus Travels Foundation, and as it says here, it's it's you know allowing us to extend our vision of harnessing the positive power of travel for the people and places we visit. That's so important. So improving life in hard to reach places, community empowerment, conservation, working on a lot of community-based projects around the globe. Uh, so, you know, for us, it's about getting away from mass tourism, getting into the heart of the regions we visit, hiring local leaders, empowering uh, men and women to, to show the passion for the area that, that your clients are gonna be traveling with under our people, places and planet plan. How can we improve life through travel in a, in a positive way? So protection of traditional cultural heritage, uh, nature net positive commitments. Uh, we've banned all plastic on our trips, uh, disaster relief, which again is happening right now. We, we were, uh, you know, it was imperative when that happened in Nepal a number of years ago. We have an amazing relationship with the Nepalese community and where a lot of our trips run and that was important. And now more than ever, uh, you know, we have uh, sent out a bunch of links to, you know, where you can help in Turkey and, and Syria with the, the relief efforts there. Uh, you know, empowering local communities, marginalized groups, promoting and supporting gender equality across the globe, that's imperative, and doing some rewilding projects in Europe, uh, which are really exciting. So, and again, won't, won't dwell too much on this, but, you know, our nature net positive commitment, so having our carbon put footprint rewilding 100 square meters for every passenger so working with local farmers and, and tourism boards and areas you know we started in the Apennines in Italy we're going to be doing some work in Croatia uh, you know to take these core areas where we can all work together for the benefit of uh, of the uh, the nature and the, and the the wildlife which lives in there and that's going to enable tourism to thrive compensating for for trip and flight emissions like i said eliminating single use plastics animal welfare which is imperative on any trips where we operate with uh, animals in the wild and supporting nature restoration so moving on again you know a lot of people ask you know what what type of tour operator where do you stay well you know it's it's a big one for us and i love it i love when clients uh, get really excited when they see the accommodations where they stay authentic clean comfortable it's distinct it gets you heart into the heart of the destination so a lot of these are converted chalets uh, my favorites are the farmhouses in in places like italy and spain that have been updated they're modern they have incredible uh on-site food where they you know they, they use locally sourced food from local farmers which is amazing uh, a lot of them will have a pool some of them even have a spa which is great but very unique so a lot of our accommodation is unique it's quality and it's different it's it's authentic uh, is the best word to describe it. One of my favorites is in Northern Italy in the Dolomites, the Hotel Adler. It's got this incredible uh, indoor pool and wellness center. So at the end of your, you know, you're uh, walking and trekking through through one of the most beautiful places to go hiking in Europe, you can come back and then just relax and, and take, you know, it takes your breath away. So you've got the indoor pool, sauna, steam room, solarium, small fitness center. If you want to get an extra little workout and, and dinner at uh, at a Michelin, star restaurant uh, on site so again an incredible place to stay the rio celeste hideaway in costa rica you're surrounded by rainforest eco principled hotel you know the costa rica is at the forefront of ecotourism in latin america so there's a number of fantastic trips that you can do in costa rica and again these bungalows all have a, a, a come with a freeform pool perfect for relaxing after you do your jungle adventure and it supports local communities and the neighboring La Paz school so uh, you know imperative again for the next generations to see the benefits of ecotourism and taking care of their of, of their area and their um, you know remoteness and and mother earth as they say so recycling and protecting uh, for the future generations uh, Hotel du Torre, one of our top selling trips year in and year out is the uh, walking the Amalfi Coast. We do a number of trips in Italy. It's our number one destination by far. And we stay at the Hotel du Torre. It's a family run uh, boutique hotel. Fantastic. It's uh, like I said, the two brothers own it. They'll, you'll see their mom in the kitchen. She's a sweetheart. Everyone raves about her, a little pool. They can You can do a pizza making. Uh, uh, kind of tutorial, if you will, and you're in the heart of Amalfi there to go on your walking holiday. Your guide to trip leaders, this is important too, because a lot of people ask, you know, 
is, is Kent taking my group to Italy? Absolutely not. I host a number of trips, but I am not the leader. I'm not from there. So our leaders are chosen to take care of you. They are passionate about, uh, about not only their home, but they're passionate about the clients that come and travel with them. So they, they know the area like the back of their hand. Uh, an example is Johnny Villalobos. He's been the, the winner of our True Leader of the Year Award uh, a few times back in 2017 and a runner-up many years as a, as a naturalist guide. So the, the, the breadth of information and knowledge they have is, is unbelievable. I've met some incredible people. They speak a number of different languages. They have a varied uh, history. Their resume would put mine to shame. Uh, and, and so many just, just valuable people uh, that love working for Exodus and and again it, it's something when you read the reviews of the trips the guides often come up as kind of the the top rated so very impressive there's Johnny there 25 years leading groups in Costa Rica um, I've met a few some of the guides we had in in Sri Lanka a beautiful country of Sri Lanka they'd worked for Exodus for for 15 to 20 years uh, and they love working for the company so you're going to find them 500 plus trips in over 100 countries and this is the important thing we do all types of travel so again i'm passionate about cycling not everyone is passionate about cycling but culture walking and hiking cycling family trips winter activities if you can believe it mixed wildlife and polar so there is going to be something for every different type of client and we rate trips on an active level so even our cultural holidays small group cultural holidays would be rated so typically you start at a one so designed for people who are in good health, enjoy outdoors, want a relaxing trip packed uh, with interest to a moderate level of fitness at a level three. So I'm taking a, a hosting a cycling trip in Sicily at the end of March. That is a level three, you know, a little bit more maybe uh, preparation, uh, which I was talking to Mark about getting on my spin bike and preparing for. But, you know, they go up and so you can always qualify your clients. We have very detailed trip notes. It's going to tell you if it is an active trip, how many miles or kilometers per day are we cycling or walking? Um, what's the altitude elevation? You know, how do I prepare? We give you all that information. And a lot of us have done these trips. So we always can get those, you know, finite, you know, answers to you if you have specific questions. But on the trip page, you're going to find that uh, active level. Different ways to do a trip. Some people prefer to, to stay in one place, a center-based uh, holiday, so you can kind of enjoy the week. You know, the walking Amalfi Coast is an example of that one. So you can kind of mix and match and, and suit how you feel on a particular day. You park your, uh, your suitcase or whatever you're traveling with, and then you just enjoy your holiday and that surrounding area. Or hotel to hotel, or what we say, point A to point B. So kind of moving through, uh, you know, several hand-picked hotels and experience the region. So different types of trips. We'll now get into, you know, the styles of trips we do. The most popular, we just relaunched our premium adventures. So we say incredible experiences, epic stays. So all the qualities of a highly rated excess trip, but they have that added extra value and, and uh, uniqueness of having premium accommodations, exceptional included experience and award-winning named leaders. We're going to actually tell you who is leading the trip. And these are handpicked some of our, some of our top guides around the world. So, uh, you know, that is a wonderful thing to know. Hey, Johnny's taken my, my, uh, my clients to Costa Rica, for example, and, and I've heard so much about him or Thanos on our walking the Greek island. Thanos is famous in Greece and he's uh, one of the top guides. Brand new one. I love this one. We do a few uh, walking and wine trips. This is a brand new Tuscan Hills and Chianti wines. We're getting a ton of interest in this. We, uh, we stay at a private villa uh, right on the cusp of the Chianti Winelands, and we do our walking adventure there. It's a fantastic place. You're visiting Florence, Siena uh, for a wine school. And, and again, the, the, the quaint walled town of Sertaldo. Uh, Italy is phenomenal. There's so many places to go. But, you know, this is one of the premium adventures. The farmhouse is lovely. We do a cooking class here. Uh, we do some of the, the cultural experiences as well. And the thing too to remember when you're doing our trips if they are they're balanced you know if it's an active trip it's not go 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 24 7. we do have some downtime where you can relax by the pool enjoy your meals we have an optional day in a lot of our itineraries too where it's nice you can either just sit and relax or you can do a number of different excursions but it gives you that uh kind of empowerment and independence of kind of choosing and not you know it's not a hand-holding trip uh we're kind of you know we want to get away from that and then just shows you, you're gonna get a map on every trip, you're gonna get some key information and highlights to see how you're gonna experience this trip. 
oh, Mark, we're going to talk about Portugal because that's where you are. This is where I decided I would retire when I'm older. I fell in love with Portugal. I sent my parents there on one of our trips. I hosted this trip, Cycling Portugal's Atlantic Coast. If you are a cyclist or have clients uh, interested, this is one of the best places to go. Beautiful Porto down to fantastic Lisbon, which is a very wonderful city alive with music and arts and culture and food. And you get to go stop in all these beautiful uh, coastal towns along the way, you know, through woodlands and uh, incredible little rural villages that we stop in. Fantastic. The other thing to note about cycling holidays, fully supported. We have a, a passenger van that comes along. You can always throw your bike on there. Uh, we have our bike guide. The bikes are included. You just have to bring your hel helmet and gear. And we have electric bikes. So electric bikes have revolutionized and made it a lot more accessible. So if it's two people traveling together at different levels, one can go on a regular, one can go on an e-bike. And that's really changing the nature of how you can do active holidays. But just a beautiful trip. We stay at uh, the Literary Man Hotel in Abidos, which is an hour north of Lisbon. Beautiful. 45,000 books, every room adorned with bookshelves. They have a Mr. and Mrs. Gin cocktail bar next door. It's like a library bar. Um, some beautiful boutique hotels along the coast and through some of the, the fishing villages. And then you can just eat to your heart's consent uh, and enjoy cycling down a, a fantastic part of the world. And again, you know, Europe's set up for cycling. They're very cycle friendly. You're not on busy roads or rural paths. They have these paths down the coastline of Portugal and in a lot of other parts of Europe where I've cycled. So beautiful. This is the trip I sent my parents on, walking and wine in Portugal. One of the, the top rated walking and wine trips. Mom and dad loved it. They're in their 70s. Uh, again, nothing too strenuous. You're only doing a few miles or kilometers per day. You're also enjoying the culture. You get to visit some wineries, which was my dad's favorite thing. And you're staying in some beautiful boutique hotels. And just, it's all about enjoying the fresh air, the nature, outdoors. You're not traveling long distances on, on, on a coach and, and not getting to, you know, off the bus, on the bus. You're actually in the heart of that destination and really getting an idea of you know the culture and meeting the people and, and educating yourself and coming home rejuvenated and that's what our holidays are all about we'll quickly move through these one of my favorite places in the middle east is jordan absolutely wonderful place to go i highly recommend it um, you get to go to dead sea you get to go down to the desert the wadi rum with one of the most remarkable experiences you get to see one of the largest roman sites outside of of uh, europe which is jerash north of amman and of course, Wadi Rum, the beautiful orange colors and Petra, you know, when I grew up watching Indiana Jones, it was, it was imperative that I went and see Petra and it is so much more than you could ever imagine. So we do a number of different holidays and different styles in Jordan, uh, which is, is really taken off again as a destination to see. Walking holidays, Mont Blanc, one of the best places to walk and hike in, in Europe. And uh, we have a number of different itineraries here. We'll shuttle you out to walking points and then you stay in the village of Chamonix and stay at a fantastic uh, chalet with a hot tub that you can come back after your day of walking and, and have, uh, you know, the, the jagged rocks and mountains of uh, Mont Blanc in the background. Walking the Greek islands, uh, I had the pleasure of living in Santorini a number of years ago and this is one of my favorite itineraries. Uh, you get to explore the islands of Naxos, uh, Santorini, very romantic, uh, Santorini and Peros and uh and explore the best of the islands on a walking holiday so um kind of getting the, the the transition between the islands starting and ending in athens of course and really exploring the the you know the life of uh of the islands in greece and that's really why most people want to go to greece croatia islands and mountains so i Helic coastal and mountain paths in Croatia, so much to see here and do. Uh, most of our trips too, people ask for time of year. I say Europe, spring and fall is the best time. My favorite two months are May and October. Um, less busy, less hot, and, and perfect to do uh, active holidays. And then your classic treks. A lot of people coming out of the pandemic, you know, have their bucket list. They haven't traveled in years. They want to do something epic. It's been on their list, including uh, myself. I'm turning 50 this year. I want to do Everest Space Camp. Uh, a lot of people, Mark's talking about doing a Kilimanjaro and, uh, and doing his race at Kilimanjaro. Amazing. I love it. Having those goals and, and kind of reaching them. You have a lot of clients out there looking at that. Or the Inca Trail. Again, I had the, the, the pleasure of living in, in South America for a year and a half, including in Peru. The Inca Trail and Machu Picchu, one of the most stunning places on earth. It's a must-see destination. Peruvian people, the food, the culture. If you like to dance, fantastic. 
um, it's a place to go. So some iconic bucket list destinations and then culture. So you have clients that, that maybe aren't into cycling, maybe don't want to do a walking holiday. They want to do a cultural experience, still enjoy nature and the outdoors. You're still going to walk, of course, and, and do some activities, but there's less, you know, kind of focus on that. And you can just enjoy with a small group. Our average group size is 12. Typically, you know, in that in that 10 to 16 range, it's intimate. You get to know the other travelers, you get to know your leader, and you can just enjoy your surroundings. So again, it back to Italy in in this beautiful area. You visit uh, Herculaneum and Pompeii for those interested in in archaeology and, and ancient history. Uh, staying in the Hotel du Tori again, doing a boat ride along the Amalfi coast to the beautiful island of Capri, seeing the romantic coastal towns of Amalfi, Positano and Ravello. Beautiful. One of the most stunning places to visit in all of Europe. Morocco. So moving around, you know, I said Jordan, Egypt is another one. Morocco is a big one for us. And again, um, I'd say, you know, people asking what's the best value in adventure travel? Egypt and Morocco are right up at the top. Amazing value, amazing culture, amazing history. Uh, two places I would highly recommend uh, looking at for sure. And again, a chance to go up to the Sahara to enjoy the wonderful markets. One of my favorite reasons to visit that part of the world as it is in Southeast Asia. And then back to Costa Rica, uh, you know, at the, the forefront of, of when ecotourism began uh, to visit just the, the naturally beautiful area of Costa Rica, La Fortuna, the volcanic region, Tortuguero National Park. If you're a wildlife lover, if you're an adrenaline junkie, Costa Rica is the place for you, but also beautiful beaches, uh, so much to explore. My passion, cycling. Never was a cyclist before I worked for Exodus. Now I'm about to do my sixth trip. It's addictive, it's enthralling, it's exciting. And again, it's more accessible than you can imagine because the bikes are included, the passenger van, the support vehicles included. Vietnam, we do a cultural trip here, finally seeing Southeast Asia coming back uh, post-pandemic, so some really unique opportunities in Southeast Asia. One of our top cycling trips outside of Europe is Vietnam. Cuba, Cuba is amazing. If you love jazz music, if you love Cuban music, you got to go to Cuba. You have to check out some of the jazz clubs in Havana. And again, you know, really, really a wonderful place to go on a, one of our um, top cycling destinations in the world. And you're going to enjoy you know seeing that area on two wheels as opposed to on four wheels one of my favorite trips my last big trip to italy was cycling puglia matera hadn't really been on on the radar for for north americans per se but now it is um you know this is one of my favorite parts of italy you know you're surrounded by olive groves you, you we're staying you know with some beautiful olive uh, working olive farms in a converted farmhouse uh, the coastline and the Gulf of Toronto, the Ionian Sea, beautiful for swimming, crystal clear blue waters, fantastic food, wine. And, uh, and again, you can do a walking holiday here, cultural holidays, cycling, uh, absolutely beautiful. Stay in the traditional truly homes, the cone homes used for, uh, for decades in this part of the world. And then kind of getting near wrapping it up, mixed activities. So you have clients that want like to be busy and do a little bit of everything, kind of immerse themselves in, in the, the local fun and, and culture. So discovering the hot springs in Bali, doing paddleboarding, doing uh, a mixology class, learning how to make local cocktails and uh, yoga. So we have a number of these trips to staying in these stunning properties. So that's summits uh, in Bali. Pyramids and Pharaohs in Egypt is a really fantastic one. We actually kayak on the Nile on this one. Uh, sandboarding in the dunes uh, as well, which you can also do in Peru. And, you know, visiting, of course, the historical uh, classic highlights of Egypt, which are the, the pyramids um, and, and, of course, exploring Cairo, which is alive and buzzing, and the Nubian-style accommodation uh, as to be bored, a sleeper train to Aswan. Family holidays. We do a number of set family holidays where we incorporate activities that the kids will enjoy and self-guided, which has taken off. It's, it's new in the market. So independent travelers that aren't typically group travelers. Uh, I just did our, my first ever hosted fam in Burgundy in France. It was a walking holiday. So a point to point where we, we have our GPS set up. We have our local contact host who is there if we need anything. Uh, detailed trip notes, your accommodations booked, transport of your luggage, you go at your own pace. So we do a number of, of more leisurely to moderate cycling and walking holidays in Europe. Uh, these are self-guided and uh, a really nice option for clients that are looking for doing something a little more independent. How are we doing for time, Mark? 
I think we're about about to get there. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. And, I mean, and obviously, this is just a quick overview. I could I could talk for hours, but but hopefully, it just gives you a little more sense of, of what we do and how we operate. You know, again, it's about immersive. It's about what we call the conscious traveler, trying to get go traveling nowadays. People are really conscious about the environment, who they travel with. Um, you know, how we are taking care of local communities as far as getting away from mass tourism and supporting um, certain initiatives. So, you know, so much more to learn about Exodus, but I just kind of wanted to give you the highlights and, and uh, insight into who we are as a company. Yeah, I don't, I don't think if the, the presentation made it easier to choose where to go from with all the <laughs> adventures. I was like, I want to go here. And I was like, no, I want to go to Egypt. I want to do this. <laughs> well, well than... my problem is I want to go to so many more places, but I also want to go back to so many of those. And I've, I've been lucky to travel to most of these places. So. No, perfect. Thank you so much for guiding us through all of that as well. Um, so let me just share my screen as well. Give me a yes. second. I kind of want to show you guys um, how you can actually um, find the product, obviously, on Tour Radar. Um, in the meantime, while I'm opening all of that, um, there was one question um, that came through, Kent, which was yes. the portable walk and hiking tour. What's the group size for that one? Minimum, maximum? What to the consider? Port the, the Portugal walking wine? exactly exactly yeah so so what you'll find is we will have guaranteed departures uh, a lot of our top rated ones the most popular or best sellers they're, they're you're going to have a number of guaranteed departures if it's not guaranteed it's going to be either four or six minimum passengers which isn't many typically on the walking holidays i know when my parents went uh, they did October, there was 14 of them. So maximum on any active holiday, whether it be cycling or walking is typically 16. And, and it usually hovers, like I said, the average group size is 12. So usually you're in that kind of 10 to 16 range. Right. No, good, good to know as well. And like that, like, like this and then many other information obviously can be, can be found on, on our site as well, because we want to make sure that we highlight a lot of this information when, when you're actually looking for an adventure. Um, so I'm quickly you how to find it on Torida. Obviously, you can always search for the operator name. You already know that Exodus Trump is your favorite one to go with. Um, it leads directly <laughs> Thank <to> Mark. <laughs> so um, it, it leads you immediately to all the all Exodus tours. We have the same um, the same programs that Exodus have. Um, sometimes we do get some exclusive deals as well that you can take advantage of as well for your um, for your customers. Um, and as you see here, walking in off the coast, um, I think <laughs> of course. it's your it's your top top seller. Um, yeah. As as we can say, it's a, it's one of our highest ranking ones from Exodus as well, just because we we collect um, reviews from our customers as well that we can display here as well. Um, I'm seeing the price now in euro, but depending where you're dialing in from, you'll see everything in your own local currency as well. So just wanted to highlight quickly, obviously we have plenty of, if you don't know the destination, but you only know where you want to go with, you can obviously use all the tools on our site. So if you know you're traveling in May, um, and you want to go to, let's say, France, it already filters everything before you. So obviously, you, utilizing the trip length, if you know how much time your customer's having, if it's a self-guided tour, um, a guided tour with um, a small group and all of that. So there's plenty of opportunity to display options here. If we're actually then going directly into one of the tours, um, I'm, again, I'm just choosing the, the walk in the amount because um, we do have an age range, we do have the maximum group size display as well. Mm -hmm. um, itinerary what what kent mentioned as well we do display how much walking is done on a daily basis the ascents the descent um so there's plenty of information there as well that you can take advantage of the whole what's included section and what accommodation you can you can um expect on the trip the guides the meals everything that your customers would hopefully ask you can find here already um, obviously, if you're ready to book, you click straight away to check your booking um, and it goes directly through to, to, exit, to the Exodus team that will answer all your questions and handle your bookings as well. Um, if you're not quite sure yet as far as um, there's extra information that you require, you can always ask a question. All your questions will directly get sent to Exodus as well, so you get your first-hand experience. They know their trip the best um, mm -hmm. to book. So, 
you should get the best um, insights and knowledge right away from the Exodus team as well on our site. Um, and the good thing as well, well, obviously, once you created an agent account on TourRadar, um, you can send customers payments link as well. So on the book now page, you just choose the accommodation types. In this instance, there's a twin share option, a single supplement option upgrade as well. Um, and if you don't want to enter the customer's details or use your own credit card, you can easily send a customer payment link directly to the customer. They fill their own payments and it's all set and done. Beautiful. Um, again, I'm trying to not to rush too much through it, but I think that's the whole stuff. <laughs> so hopefully you learned a lot today from Kent. Kent, any other insights or things that we need to take away from, from this experience? <laughs> I, I just no. I just think that, uh, like I said, the you know sometimes I find people are a little shy or wary of, of the word adventure, and I think adventure has really changed from what it used to be. Right, 20, 30 years ago, camping under a tree, <laughs> and, uh, and and it's not the case anymore. I mean, we do standard and, and premium, which is an upgraded accommodation. These are they're great value, but but I think the most important thing is what people get out of these trips. You you come home feeling good. You feel good about yourself and and how you've traveled. You feel good, um, you know. Of course, more more so on the active, but even cultural, because you've learned something. You're you're immersing yourself, and and if it is an active trip, you know, it's I love it. It's guilt free. You can have an extra glass of wine or food, but but it's coming home with that sense of contributing uh, to something that's that's greater than all of us, and and really supporting the, the travel. Um, and, and we miss it. You know, the last few years have been tough. They've been challenging for all of us involved in travel in all aspects. So, and especially for the local people, you know, the guides, the, the hoteliers, the, you know, the people on the ground, the restaurants, uh, you know, travel is so imperative to economies of, of a lot of countries. And, and we just, uh, we need to get out there and explore and, and open our minds. And, and this is just a great way to do it. Absolutely. And, and Tour Writer is, is fantastic uh, supporter of this. And uh, and hopefully, like I said, you'll you'll get some some uh, inspiration uh, to look at us as an option. Perfect. Awesome. Any more questions for anyone coming in at this stage? Have some more opportunities here, so just let me know. And like Mark said too, just want to add, you know, we're always available. We have we have a, a you know a global team. We've got staff around the world, including in, in Canada and the U.S. And and we're always happy to answer questions. Um, you know, if, if there's something that you're not finding you know, when you go to the Two Radar site and see the links to our trips. Perfect. That wraps it up. I think this stage is just announcing the winner of the five hundred dollar watch. Where are we going? <laughs> so the lucky winner today is Olga Borisov. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, so congratulations, Olga. I'll Yay. be in touch right after the, the webinar um, to send you all the details. Um, but again, thanks for joining. If you do have any other questions, um, you can email agents at tourradar.com and we're more than happy to answer any questions that you might have um, and then pop up at a later stage maybe. Again, Great. Thank, thank, thank you for joining. Um, thanks. Glad for having you. Yeah, obviously. Um, and good luck on your cycling trip to Sicily. So. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Uh, happy selling. And, and thanks again, Mark. Okay. That sounds good. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Cheers.